Hey, what's up legends? Welcome back to another 16 types of one single letter. Now, today we're going to take through the letter C and you're gonna ask yourself why after the letter G we're gonna take C. Now, it makes sense if you know that I missed one letter. So in the series from A, B, D, E, F, G, I missed the C. And can you believe that? No, I can't. Um, I thought I had it in until somebody mentioned it in the comments. And this is why I'm thankful that you guys notice these kind of things, that I can see this because of you guys. And so I checked it up, I went through it again, and I saw like, no, there's definitely no C. And I was sure about having done all the other letters. So we're jumping back in time, and we're gonna redo this one, we're gonna make this happen, and uh, we're gonna do this exercise together. So in the description, you will find a free download sheet that will let you do this exercise with us. So you're gonna have a free 16 uh, letter, well, 16 grids uh, for with the letter builder inside that you can use as a as a base to draw every single letter. You do not need to use them. You can just fold a piece of paper in 16 or divide it into 16 boxes, whatever is easiest for you. And this exercise is a great way to practice your styles. And now this is great because when you're beginning out, you usually focus on just one single thing. You, you want to perfect it. And I get that. I really do. But I really see this a lot in people when they start out that they only focus on what they feel comfortable with and then stop moving on. And this is why I want you guys to really move on, push yourself, push your own limits and really get going. So I'm excited to do this one because I've actually already done this even I think twice already. But so this one is the third time and you know, third time is the charm. And since it's also the third letter of the alphabet, see, there's a co funny coincidence. Now, as you guys can see, um, I'm back to my old camera. Well, maybe you cannot see this, but I'm using my old camera, which switches off every 30 minutes just for a couple of seconds. At least it's plugged in to power now, but in case it goes dark, everything is okay. You do not have to worry about it or comment, but you can see that um, as well when I do the sidebar thing. So I'm excited that you guys are here. I'm excited that we have so many familiar faces and uh, some people are actually having to go or not able to watch this. But yes, also, if you do this exercise, please let me know. I would love to see you guys comment um, or share those pictures, how you're drawing, how are you doing this exercise with me live because I actually, I'm, I'm really excited to see other people create. And as you can see on the background, like the wall in the background, it says we create to inspire others. And I've said this many times already on this channel, but this is why I create. This is why I do these live exercises or these live drawings is one, it helps me to stay creative and it also inspires me or I love to inspire you guys to create with me. So not just watch this and, and just look at what I'm doing or use this as a background noise. Do that if you feel like it, but use this time to really get creative, to do something that you love. And um, and yeah, like there's no way you can fail if you try. You can only fail if you do not do anything. So I want you guys to do something, share a picture, like take a picture of your setup, of your screen, of your drawing desk, if it's, um, if it's paper, if it's something else, just screenshot that, tag me in your posts on Instagram. I love to reshare those. And uh, you can also use the hashtag draw with Stefan and create it today or, or just any hashtag for that matter. You doesn't, don't even have to use mine. And also I just wanted to remind you guys that you can subscribe to this channel also. So it's free. It's still free. Last I checked. And, uh, you do not get anything from me in return except for videos and notification that I've uploaded something new or I'm doing another live stream. So, so you don't miss anything out in the future, just you can subscribe. It, that helps me to grow my channel, to uh, keep doing this, and also just to bring you more content because as you know, we have to do something here. But I'm excited to be here, so let's get into it. Let's take a look and uh, there we go. We're here on the iPad. So I'm using the iPad Pro just because it's easier for me to showcase you so I can just zoom in because imagine if I have a, piece of A4 paper over here, you would only see this small little bit that I would be drawing. But now I can zoom in and you guys can see the full thing. So first letter, we're going to start out again. Here are the letter G that I did last time. And uh, I love those. Um, one of my favorite one is probably the Harry G. 
um, which is totally cool. As you can see, like it's super hairy. And uh, I just got a haircut on Saturday. I hope that you guys like it. And if you don't, that's totally fine too. I don't care. Um, so here we go. Letter C, we're gonna start off with the first one. And what time is it? It's uh, eight past three where I'm at here in Zurich. So let me know guys in the comments where you guys are joining in from. I see Jonathan from a far doozy family. Supernova had just, uh, just had to leave. And I see Marco is here too. So tempting to start as well. Marco, you should try it out. You should really try it out. So Marco, he's the one who actually helped me with the camera setup as well. Um, my brother helped me with the whole streaming setup. So I'm really thankful for those guys who are around. Now I got a good cup of coffee. You can check my Instagram story, um, the live video that I just did before going here, um, just so I can do something. And hydration is really important. Now, I realize that I still haven't started anything, but we're just about to, we're just getting into it. And it's good to get warmed up, to have everything ready. Also, I have pollen allergies, which is kind of like messing with my nose and everything else, but it's raining outside, so it's good. Okay, let's get started with the very first letter C. So I'm just gonna start off usually with something very easy, something to just get into the flow and um, also realizing that I do not have any music on yet, yet. Uh, so I'm just gonna put on some music. You guys should have some music in the background, which is perfect. Um, and for me to help me get into the mood, into the groove, also helps to have some good music in the background just to listen. So I'm just gonna follow those lines from the uh, letter builder here in the background. And you see the letter builder is made for every single letter. And you will see this um, being used in all of our 16 types of letters, uh, 16 types of one letter, especially the largest ones. And um, this is just a tool that we've created to help you guys make it easy, make it simple that you can just draw your letters. So. Again, that one is just a simple one. I'm just cutting it off here. You can cut it off at any other point if you want to. Um, just feel free to, to draw however you want it to. Even transform it, like during this drawing exercise, like I'm drawing it one way, but feel free to get creative, to pour in your full creativity and not stop at just where I've got it, but also just take it one step further, do some modification, tune it the way you like it, and just fill it out. So here I'm just created an outline. Now I'm just gonna follow the straw stroke here to give it some weight and some contrast so you can really see it well. And you see, I could have filled it out completely, but then it would have just been simple. And the goal here is really to try out with playing with some ingredients, playing with some some ideas. And um, by the way, just to give you guys a heads up, and only you guys will know, is that I am about to produce a online course, which is gonna come out hopefully very soon. We're just in the editing process. We're finalizing all of that. And in this workshop, I'll teach you everything I know about how to build letters, how to come up with all these different styles. like. I talk a lot here, but we're going really in depth into my process, into my my whole way of thinking about letters. And it's a whole philosophy for me. Um, and so we record that a couple of, uh, like over one month ago, like just before Easter. And uh, it's been in the process of editing and it's, it's looking really nice. It's kind of like a master class. So it's gonna be, I'm so excited just to see it and to put it out because We've been working really hard on it. I got to watch another um, part of it. And I'm excited to say that all of our workshop attendees that have been in a live workshop, they will actually get the uh, the whole thing for free. And so afterwards we'll look at everything else. But first of all, those who have attended the workshops are the ones who have helped make this possible. All right, so here we go. This is very first letter C, just really to get into the groove, kind of like an inline inside and a gradient. I can still add maybe some, maybe some stippling from, from the dark here and just give it some grunge, some grit, kind of like this, but not too much. 
and we're just gonna move on to the next one. So the next one also still in the lines of something simple is a uh, Serif style C. So I've been looking up a couple of C's before this live stream just to get like something really, really nice. Um, and so one of those is with the circle. So I've never, never been sure like, do you put the circle at the bottom or at the top? And I feel like the top is perfect and I've seen it more on the top than anywhere else. And so now here contrast wise, I can decide where to add this contrast. And now some people will have to correct me here, but you cannot add too much contrast depending on how much weight you put on the thin lines. So there's just like a limit on, on how to do that. But again, do not quote me on this because, hey, I'm just trying to see what looks visually cool and how I can do it better. Um, not knowing all the rules because sometimes you just have to figure it out as you go on, not be afraid to make mistakes. Like it's okay to make mistakes. Like I've learned the most by just trying it out and seeing like, where will this take me? And then learning along the way, like not, like I didn't need to know all the rules, everything around it before I started out. Um, and I see that a lot of people want to know everything before or be perfect before they share anything. And I believe just in the opposite that you should be trying out. Like even if you teach something, like you do not need to be perfect. Like if you are able to teach what you know and, and even if there are some things that are wrong about it, but people can learn something new from it. Like I see this in my workshops all the time that people will learn new things from from just the, the things that I can share, from the things that I've learned over time. And so this is what is valuable, is to learn from others and to just figure out as you go on and also just find it like the joy of creating. Like there's no sense in like killing your joy just to get you to draw this perfectly. So here we go, we got a very simple C and now I'm just trying to figure out like how can I push it across the finish line, like create something really nice. And I'm I'm wondering if I actually should kind of like change the weights to something more like this, kind of like, I've been loving these letters like the E, um, I, I do not know the name of the fonts, but even the style of the font is, is like a beautiful Sarah styled style here, kind of like this. And then still, it gets really tight up here but we can add some more, some more weight. So now I can see that people are asking questions about the online course, but I do not have a close eye to what's happening here. So I'm just gonna try to zoom in and to see what people are writing. So the question is from Benoit, are these courses gonna be different from the ones that you have done with Amanda? And yes, they will be. So I've been doing the live class workshops. Um, and of course, like I haven't reinvented everything that I've learned so far, but my process, the whole course structure is totally different from what I've taught before, um, except for the ultimate lettering workshops. Like that's the course material. So if you've visited the ultimate lettering workshop, you know that, but all the people that have um, come there, they will get the free, um, the, the course for free, and we're gonna test it. We're gonna show that to them and see like how they react, what they think of it and stuff like that, just to like to really get the, the structure, the style of the course really to the best as it can possibly get. So that's a lot of information about the course that I didn't plan on giving so far. But here we are. You never know what you're gonna get during a live stream. So here I'm just trying to add some, some styles, some, some highlights, kind of like those gradients a lot. But again, you gotta be careful that you do not overuse it. Um, and then also here, what I've tried to do is kind of like keep the same distance overall, but I feel like towards the end here, kind of like the, um, the golden ratio, you kind of want to in increase the size, the gap in between, something like that maybe. 
kind of like that. All right, this one, I'll keep that as is. Maybe adding some stippling. Oh, I'm just adding stippling everywhere. Okay, let's go to the next letter, the letter C, and we have a Gothic letter. Now, a Gothic letter is, or also considered black letter, um, one of those is, and uh, I'm just gonna show you, I just took a picture from my fridge, and uh, in my fridge, I have Corona beer. So Corona beer, again, it's not the perfect time for Corona right now, but Corona beer has a C in it and it's a beautiful um, black letter C. And I'm not even sure if I really like it that much because it's kind of like on its own, just without any any other uh, thing. You, not sh I'm not sure if I could realize that it is a C. So I'm gonna try to maybe create my own version of that. And and so what I will do is kind of like connect this here. Again, use this curve from this perfect circle here. And then kind of the half moon. So this one goes up actually really high. And then I can just drag this down here. And so here we go like kind of like giving this a C, but I'm not sure that I do like that now. This this one has something special that I, I kind of need to work on. So let's see if I can just get it again. Some more, more half moonish here. And then another, another inline that just will cover most of it. And then we're taking this here. Kind of like that. So really the part of this exercise is to also just get the whole variety of styles, like not just spend in just script style or just one other style or brush calligraphy, brush lettering, modern brush styles, but really to get out, try different pens, try to see if you can, if you can really push the styles as far as you can, even get some, some unobvious elements kind of like a cake see um, I did that one just not too long ago like I tried to do <laughs> I actually tried to keep up with the um, the 36 days of type uh, challenge but again I just made it I think till the letter E or something and then kind of like left left or just lost touch with the challenge and uh, had to focus on different things which is totally fine that it can happen Okay, so here we go. We kind of have this strong C and then there is a line that goes right between it here, kind of like this. And I just don't, probably someone who does more of Gothic style letters needs, probably needs to explain to me why there's a line in between the C here. But hey, who knows? So I'm just gonna move up this C here because the, uh, the gap in between is just a little bit close and they kind of like just from from the style like they're all super round so now i'm just going to do a more condensed version of one and i'm gonna i love doing the uh the condensed c here and also try maybe to pull off a 3d as well so here we go some more edgy so they were all round so i'm not i'm gonna do an edgy version of that so just going out of my way um to really get this as edgy as i can so this would be the center the middle so these are all those guidelines that i will use and now i can start to erase them erase them always make sure that you got the eraser ready and uh let's see it's hide those corners it's kind of like a varsity t 
t-shirt um, styled C that is has these corners cut off. And honestly, maybe there's a reason why they use this style of letters on varsity t-shirts. Um, but again, I would know because I do not know, but I'm just interested while I'm drawing this and talking about it, I get interested about these things and which is also really cool. So now I'm duplicating this, I'm duplicating another one, dragging it down. Let's, let's see what we can get up here. So now I'm just gonna erase some parts. It's like this. All right, that's kind of cool. So I love when we talk about the creative process. There's always this moment where you feel like, oh, this is really cool. This is awesome what I'm doing. And then suddenly it hits you and you're like, ah, oh, you know what? This is this is actually tricky. This is not as easy as I found it to be. And then the next part is like, oh, this is terrible. This is not good. And, and then you probably will feel like the next step is I'm not good. And I'm crap. I'm terrible at this. And so you go through all these phases and uh, you learn along those ways. So here, I'm again, just taking this out. Maybe I have to. Just erase some parts of that. And let's see. See, now, now I'm getting to the stage where I'm like, oh, you know what, this is tricky. This is not how I thought it could turn out. Um, but if we actually start filling it out and so you know what, instead of doing this, I'm just gonna actually gonna keep this one here and I'm gonna erase everything here. So there's always a going back and forth between all these uh, versions, finding out what is working really well, what isn't working at all, and uh, learning along the way. So now I'm connecting these corners. So here we got a really edgy C. Compared to all these others, this one is really edgy. And now I'm just gonna try to give it the right amount of contrast so it really stands out. All right, so there's contrast, but these lines around, so I'm just gonna merge these two together. I'm just gonna make those lines a little bit thicker now that I have kind of like finalized this. Just so they have enough contrast and they stand out. And then I can still think of like doing See, this is what I was talking about regarding the camera shutting off for just a second. Um, but hey, we're working on this. 
there might be a new camera coming along the way but hey we cannot invest all the things as soon as we need them we're just trying our best as we go on to do and work and be creative with what we, with what we have All right, so this is number four. So you can see we got four down really easily, and this is usually <clears throat> this is usually just a warm up. This is the exercise to get warmed up, to get ready for whatever is to come next. Because the next four are the one where you start. All right, let's start working on our creativity. Let's start working on just flexing our creative muscles, and um, this is where it gets a little bit more tricky. I would say not entirely tricky. So I'm just gonna go with a script style C and one way of course that I love to do my C is kind of like in the background here with the the creative um, like we create to inspire others I'm just gonna actually have a look I like that one so I'm just gonna so this is pretty much that type of style and then towards the bottom here is where I'm adding the contrast. And you see this exercise is the best time to try out new things. Like I've done this type of C, but now I wanna try something that I haven't done much of. And so how this works is actually that I'm trying to draw two C's and then kind of like interpose them and connect them in a special way. So let's see if we can come up with that. Um, so there's one C that is on the top. Kind of like this. And then there's a second C that will go at the bottom through the bottom here. Now this is not exactly what I want, so let's see if I can try it again. So there's one inner, and then the outer C. I think that could be, that could work. Okay, that is a totally different type of style that I haven't tried yet before. Let's see if we can figure this out until we, before we finish. Let's do one that is a lower C and then let's do Okay, now I get it. I think I got it. So this one will go out a little bit further and it's flatter, kind of like this. The second one is a little bit narrower, narrower, and uh, will connect kind of like this. So pretty much the same C, but kind of like stretched and squished. And you see, reason why I got back and forth is because now this here, when you connect that, it will give you kind of like nice, nice um, roundnesses, roundnesses. Um, so here I'm gonna connect these back together. And so if you give it some color, 
you can kind of like make a ribbon out of it. Let's have a sip of coffee. So Lucas is saying that he, he feels it's impossible to do it in the same speed. That comes with practice, Lucas. You can absolutely do it in the same speed. But after a couple of years, you'll get there. You, you might even be faster than me. But as you also may be seen in the five hour drawing challenge, I love speed. I love like, I get bored when it slows down. And so that was the funny thing about the five hour drawing challenge was that I was excited while I was sketching, while I was coming up with new things. But then as soon as it slowed down, I just got, I got tired. I lost focus and um, you learn new things. So here, I'm just gonna actually draw this out a little bit further out. Not oof. keep keep that line crisp. But you see how this kind of looks, I, I, Gonna, gonna compliment myself uh, almost here. Um, that was close. So here, can just give it a little shine. Maybe here as well. And then, like that. But here, I love just how this kind of mixes in together, creates this beautiful, those beautiful folds. And just, yeah, make this piece stand out in, in another way. Like this is a C, definitely not even the fourth letter C here, but kind of like where it is right now. And I'm just gonna have to, whoops, wrong layer. To erase all the rest here in the background. And what I can still do is maybe stretch can I stretch it? I'm not sure. Just get it the right size here. I can still add some more weight at the bottom, but we got to move on. This is letter five, C number five, and we're going to the next one to number six. So number six, so what are we trying to do? Maybe let's try more condensed again. But then we can also just keep it a little bit. We could keep it extremely fine, but I also want to try to keep it round. We should maybe maybe we should go for another hairy C. You guys probably would love that one, or I would just love it. Either way, one of us will love it.
At some point I probably will have to release a font that is like a hairy font. I do not know where it could be used for, but I think it would just be fun to do that. Except for the part where you have to draw every single letter and then just really go through all of them. That one is the hard part where <laughs> it will just take a lot of time. Super hairy. See, maybe I'll just add some some weight over here. And I always wondered what would it look like if we gave that hairy C just a a quarantine quarantine cut. Let me explain. Let's let's see. Let's uh, just give it a a random cut in here. So this is where. goes in uh, probably have to have to do more than that okay that looks fun but it's you gotta have to do it a little bit more than that wax strip there we go going back to normal All right, I'm happy with this one. Let's see. So Lucas, I'm not sure it's a pencil brush. It's one of my own on Procreate, but I'm not sure that you could have the same brush in Autodesk, especially not on the desktop version, on the um, tablet version. Okay, we got six letters down, only 10 to go. That's nothing, but it's getting warm here, so I'm, I probably have to take off my shirt at some point. And yes, Denise, my coffee is getting cold. All right, we're back, we're back. So, 40 minutes in, six letters down. It's not actually that fast though. Um, next letter, letter C, a, uh, a fast C, a C that is running away. So a C that is fast, again, has to be a little bit tilted inwards here. And uh, just gonna not make it too thick. So here we got a round C. Now I'm just gonna erase those help lines again just to clean up the whole letter. And then because it's kind of fast, I'm just gonna use the liquify tool here to just make those tilted a little bit inwards. And maybe without inline, whoa, not too much here. Um, what I can actually do it's kind of like a 
use this. This is an easy tool that you can use on Procreate. But now, again, just maybe reduce the opacity here. And let's do it, let's draw over it again on a new layer. And I'm just gonna use these lines here just to give me some Kind of like this. The C, so if you do that on paper, so I get that question here um, by, uh, who said that? Um, so Rumil is saying like, this C is difficult to do on paper, but if you do that on paper, you just gotta draw this in pencil and then do kind of like these lines. And then you know kind of like you can follow this here. Kind of like this and so on. And then you can just add like, those those dots so this is kind of like how i would use um how i would do it on paper the liquify effect was just here to play around a little bit with it So like this, and I'm gonna take this part here, delete that, and then uh, get the opacity back up. And then we can just fill those in. So whenever you see me do something that you feel like you cannot do on paper, like I promise you, you can do anything on paper. You just got to put your mind to it. There are some things that I feel like, oh, you know what? That's a little bit difficult. But if you think about it, creativity is all about solving problems. And uh, again, we're going through that process of the creative process where it's like, oh yeah, this looks awesome. And then, oh no, this looks tricky. And you go on and on and on and you find out a way after you feel like you're depressed with yourself. You feel like, ah, oh, you know what? I'm, I'm not great. I, I could could have done better. And there you go. You can find like all these ways how to improve yourself and get better as long along as well. And then let's add just some highlight touches. Maybe a little bit thicker. All right, just like that, we got the next C done. And uh, let me see if I can. Next C, okay, let's go back with a round, rounded C.
Hmm. Still don't know exactly what I can do with this one, but maybe. Okay, now I think I got an idea for this one here. So I was thinking the whole time of cake and uh, somehow this doesn't resemble anything like a cake, but we can add some frosting to it. We can glaze it on top. That would be fun. And so to do that, we're going to draw a uh, frosting line.
Now the one last question we can ask ourselves is how can we make that even more look like a cake but somehow I'm just not seeing this Hmm. Well, the one thing that I could think of maybe is that to give it some layers in here. But I'm not sure that that will, well, uh, maybe. Just as I thought that would actually solve the problem, make it look better. That reminds me of a C that I wanted to do. Which worked a lot better for the F, but a fingerprint C. So again, we're going to try to get the similar C here. Now this is way too big. Got to go back again and draw that perfect circle. Like that. And then we're just going to Keep it like that. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, go here and look for a fingerprint. Fingerprint images. So this is perfect. So I'm just gonna try to see if I can use that. Copy image. And then paste. I'm gonna make it big. I can like that. And now I'm just gonna try to find like the best way to put it um, because I feel like. Kind of like this. So I'm even going to reduce this here. And this one will actually probably take a little bit longer to create. It's kind of like a leopard style.
As I said, this will probably take a little bit longer, but I can also just speed up the process by making the pen here a tiny little bit bigger. And the goal as well is just to keep it even organic. Not this this one that I have used here, like the the mock-up or the, the design kind of looks like a like digital made and kind of like a logo and therefore not specifically organic, which is totally okay, but now I can just also just go around and kind of like keep these impressions that I can see also on my own finger. some of those lines here. You can round these off a tiny little bit. But mostly, that is the gist of the style here. And let's see how this looks when we take it off. Kind of like that has some structure to it, style to it. Um, that was the wrong one, wrong layer. There we go. But it is very thin line. So we could have made it a little bit thicker just so it has kind of like the same similar weight to the all the rest but we got seven to go we're almost there so what do we have next so, uh, oh, I didn't actually talk about this yet, but if this video gets 200 likes, I'll give away a builder for free. So I'm seeing, of course, that we are not at 200 people watching this right now, so it's maybe not possible, but who knows? Maybe we'll get there eventually and you guys will get a free builder. The tool that we use in the background is, for example, the letter builder, and perhaps you can make that. So let's see, we have some, we've played around with ice cubes last times, we've played around with dices. Um, what else could we play around with? Maybe like bowling ball and tennis balls. So kind of like getting all these. I've been watching the, the Michael Jordan documentary. So this is why I'm probably getting into all these these different balls things because he played basketball, then he played tennis, uh, tennis, he played baseball. And uh, it's just fascinating to see kind of like his legacy, what he's created, the whole stories behind it. Maybe we can add some ping pong ball here with a ping pong racket. Actually, we can change it around. Create that ping pong racket like this. Mm.
What type of balls do we still have? We have a football. Oh, we have a American football. I don't know why I did a sports tea, but why not? But now I'm having, uh, what else could I do? Let me find some ideas here. Well, actually I had some ideas over here. like a pop C
doesn't even look that bad. Now, let's see. I'm just going to reduce the size of this C here and maybe just stretch the tiny little bit, which is fine to do. Then the next one is a chain C. So I was looking for letters or, well, names that would start with the, um, with the letter C and then chain popped into my head. So let's see if I can create a chain style C. Which sounds so simple, but Cheerios could also be one. Now, since I'm lazy, as you probably all know already, I'm just gonna duplicate this, gonna flip it around, and copy that. This is how you do it, to do it faster, to make your life a little bit easier. The only trouble will be just to make sure that it all fits in really well. But we can get that with the last link here. Making sure that it all fits really well. And we can still transform this one here so it doesn't look mirrored, but a little bit transformed.
All right, that is a C chain over here. You see, every time I feel like I'm done, there's always something that I can see, and so there's always a little something that I can add here. It's also these small details that makes often a piece just a tiny little bit better. Maybe not enough to really spend so much time on it, but... Awesome. Okay. Four to go. We only got four more left to do. Um, again, don't forget to drink something. Let me just jump over in the live comments. A car. Car C. How would you make a car? So I, I could imagine having like a, a car kind of like this um, that is super like distorted and kind of like a limousine style. Kind of like a dog almost. But that's a little bit cartoonish. Um, a um, catalog, perhaps? Oof. Hmm. Like imagine like holding a catalog and just like, like if you have a catalog kind of turn like this, but just tiny a little bit more open and then having all these pages go like to the back. Ice cream cone. But then again, it's like not a C. Why not just do the cake? I love cake. We we'll already have a cake, but I always love to do another one. And perhaps I get to do it better the second time around. I just had like a friend of mine uh, baked a cake for his wife and um, he did a strawberry um, vanilla cake and it was delicious. And But he said like this and that's what I loved about it is like, you know what, you should come around the second time now you're also asking yourself probably why did I have a piece of it like if it if he baked it for his wife that is a perfectly reasonable question um, I don't know I just got a piece from it so I'm lucky but he said like again you should come the next time like my second time will be better and so I believe that if we do not if like if we're not afraid to try to make mistakes like the second time will always be better than the first time. So here we go for my second attempt at a, a beautiful frosted cake with chocolate. And then we're just gonna fill this out here.
and perhaps we have the plate here. And then we're just gonna add some. Oh, that looks not too bad. And there we go with the cake seat. Let's see, I need some switch in the music. So, I'm still going to go with a, with a, different type of gothic style C here. Add some, again, some highlights from the top.
All right, two more to go. Let's see, what else could we do? Um, so we got a lot of different C's, but I'm also not seeing a lot of cursive. So I'm just gonna, again, go within um, see if I can add some cursive here. So again, these, well, they, they kind of look alike, but I feel like they have enough, enough, they have enough similarities, but also enough differences um, that puts them, sets them apart from each other. All right, down to the last one. Let's see if we can add some a uh, little Shreky, Shreky C. So I'm gonna go to a uh, actually I'm just gonna draw this in a separate layer. If we can create something with this form, with this shape. Mm, not what I'm looking for. Well, I like this. 
right, that is the last C. So we could add some kind of like shadows below here just to maybe make it pop it even more. And so let's take a look at what we just created. Take a review. So we started off with the very first letter C here, a simple letter C, Sansara style, just with an inline, some gradient inside, just to give it a little bit extra something. But again, it's all about starting with where you feel comfortable to get back into the flow where you feel like it's just going forward. Then we moved on to a Sarah style C, one with a lower heaviness, uh, the lower back here that is just heavy and nice contrast. Also the dotted serifs, which is something really unusual for me to use, but in this case, I just loved using it. Um, that reminds me also, we could have gone with a slab serif C as well, but here we go with this next C, that's a Corona C from the Corona brand. So we're actually copying some styles here and just putting down on paper, again, trying to to learn something new, uh, learn that the sea is kind of like this half moon over here, has this weird line, which I still do not know where it comes from and why it's there, but it is, and we just have to learn. It's hard to actually understand that's a sea out of like, if you would just see that, I would not necessarily guess that it's a sea, but it is. And uh, here we have a varsity sea, also added some three dimensions to kind of like add to it. Then we went and tried around, we played around with kind of two interlacing two C's together, which kind of like gives you that ribbon font style by connecting then the outer edges and then coloring in the back and the front um, in different colors. The hairy C couldn't be missed in this series of 16 styles of one letter. I love that one on the G. It's perfect on the C as well. Um, we tried to give it a haircut, but that failed a little bit. So we went back. Fortunately enough, we could go back. Sometimes you just can't, and that's okay too. Um, then we have this fast C that's kind of like uh, on speed, but this also kind of looks like a gooey C that's kind of like just dripping off of the window. Then here, try to do some f form of um, layered cake with some glazing on top. Um, still looks a little bit weird to me, but here we have the fingerprint C. So we, we went in with the details. We tried out a lot of these lines kind of like you would find on your fingerprint. We used a picture we found here on, on Google by searching for a fingerprint and uh, we kind of like adapted that a little bit to it. Then out of nowhere, play around with kind of like balls and like bowling ball, tennis ball, tennis ball, football, uh, soccer ball, basketball, ping pong, badminton, all these different types of sports elements. Here, um, more of a I don't know, a pop C with kind of like a shadow, some inlines inside here, then a chain C. That's kind of the first one that I really went with the letter, um, like what word association can you do with the letter C? Then cake is a the second one. Then again, back to a Gothic letter styled C, then uh, another um, like script C. And finally this gooey Shrek, um, well not Shrek now, it's more of a really, flowing sea, kind of like a ice cream that's melting under the extreme heat of the sun. So here we go. This is all these letter C's that we came up with, 16 types of one letter. You can get that free paper as well on, um, on uh, in my live description. We're over 112 likes, which is absolutely incredible. So if we hit with that video, we hit 200 likes. I'm gonna also just um, see in the comments who is looking for a free builder bundle and we're gonna see that too. Um, so I'm super thankful that you guys spend your time with me here over and uh, I'm excited that you guys are uh, watching, that you guys are following me here. Do not forget that you can also uh, subscribe to this channel so you can become a subscriber and a follower on this channel. You can also put on the turn on the notification bell so you never miss another video coming up. And um, yeah, I'm really excited that you guys are here, that you played with me around in this uh, little challenge. And I can't wait to see where this is headed next, what we'll do next. And um, yeah, I'm excited. For, for that on Wednesday, I'm gonna try to do maybe more of an interactive Q&A styled video or more of a 
like helping you guys out with a creative topic. So if you have a creative topic in mind, please let me know. I'm already choosing a couple one, but I would love to help you guys uh, in your creative journey, give you some pep talk, some inspiration, and uh, I'm excited to see what challenge we're also gonna do this week. And so Wednesday, Friday, and uh, that's for this week what we're gonna do. So stay up to date, and I can't wait to see you there. See you guys very, very soon, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.